think this is a tension that needs to be held more tightly in our meetings and our songs and our leading. The most emotionally affecting songs are often the ones that are most theologically shallow. And some of the most theologically rich songs are so packed with truth that they fail to move many people's hearts. So we want to strive to write and choose songs that speak both to our heads and to our hearts. And because we live in this age of immediate sensory gratification, we will probably have to train our congregations to love the truth and not just feelings about the truth. We don't want to give a two-pound theological steak to a one-year-old Christian, but neither do we want to keep feeding our people strained carrots. John Piper says it well. He says it like this. Truth without emotion produces dead orthodoxy and a church full or half full of artificial admirers, like people who write generic anniversary cards for a living. On the other hand, emotion without truth produces empty frenzy and cultivates shallow people who refuse the discipline of rigorous thought. But true worship, listen to this, comes from people who are deeply emotional and who love deep and sound doctrine. Strong affections for God rooted in truth, are the bone and marrow of biblical worship, head and heart. This is a healthy tension that we want to keep strong in our churches.